Please remember to post a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you can always get my latest travel videos. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to answer viewer questions about visiting Rome, Italy. Peggy from Edmonton, Canada asks, what do you think of Italian food in Rome? Uh, it's my favorite type of food and I'm planning a trip to Rome and I'm excited to try the Italian food in Rome. Um, what do you think about that? Peggy, I, uh, I hope that I don't disappoint you or I hope to, I don't discourage you from visiting Rome. However, the food quality in most restaurants in Rome for Italian food is mediocre at best. Uh, you're gonna get better Italian food in New York City. And in fact, if I was to get really good Italian food, I would go to New York City, and I have, and I've enjoyed the Italian food there much better. Um, Rome has mediocre quality uh, Italian food. It goes up a little bit more as far as the quality if you go to the side streets and visit a family-owned restaurants away from the crowded spots. Um, but overall, the prices are going to be fairly high and the food quality is going to be average. Um, maybe it'll taste better because you're in Rome eating it, but that may be a psychological thing. But uh, just as far as the taste of it, um, <laughs> yeah, you have my honest opinion. I hope I didn't disappoint you. Helen from Ottawa, Canada asks, I've heard from other travel channels that there are hordes of tourists in Rome, Italy. Is there anything you can suggest so I can avoid those hordes? Absolutely, Helen. I can suggest three things. Number one, if you're coming to Rome on a cruise, that is cruising and docking in Civita Vecchia, and you're taking a shore excursion that's going into Rome, there's not much you can do. Um, you're going to be encountering hordes of tourists because um, you're going to be uh, along with several other busloads of tourists coming in from the cruise port. Um, you, you'll have to deal with that. So I'll assume that you're not uh, coming in on a cruise, on a shore excursion. I'll assume that you're flying into Rome. So I can offer you two tips uh, if you're flying into Rome. Number one, book all of your timed entry tickets in advance. That is, the most popular tourist attractions in Rome are the Colosseum, uh, the Vatican uh, Museum, um, and also Villa Borghese. Buy those tickets in advance uh, with a timed entry ticket and book uh, those tickets in the morning, early in the morning. Those are the best times that you can go there. If you're gonna go there in the afternoon and line up, uh, to buy tickets, you're going to be very, very disappointed and you'll be in, in a lot of crowds. Um, the most popular tourist destinations usually are pretty get pretty crowded by 11 o'clock. So try to get there early in the morning. The second thing you can do is that um, go away from the major sites if you're planning to go shopping or um, enjoy a cafe or a restaurant. The side streets of Rome are generally not that crowded. So for example, if you go to the Colosseum, all the restaurants that have a view of the Colosseum are gonna be fairly overpriced and the food quality is gonna be pretty lousy and the service quality is gonna be pretty bad as well. But if you go maybe about three blocks away from there and from where you are, you're not able to see the Colosseum, those restaurants are much more hardworking. Uh, they're also family owned and they're going to be happy to see you and they will uh, treat you to some wonderful food and you'll get better food, better service, better quality. Uh, that's another tip for you. Lucy from Ohio asks, I've heard that uh, the toilets in Rome cost money and they're very dirty uh, and I'm a little bit nervous about touring Rome about that. Uh, is that true? Do they cost money and are they dirty? Lucy, that's a bit of a myth, and let me explain. Um, virtually every European city you're gonna go to, uh, they're gonna have public restrooms that cost money. Uh, they can be anywhere from 50 cents up to a euro to maybe even two euros in Northern Europe. In Rome, they're about 50 cents to uh, one euro 50. And uh, if you pay that price, you're gonna be pretty much guaranteed you're gonna be going into a clean public washroom. Um, those washrooms are clean and they're well maintained. 
Now, if you go into a public toilet that is free, uh, that's where you're going to get the dirty toilet. Um, so uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that and just bring some change with you. 50 cents, one euro. Doug from Minnesota asks, I've heard from other travel channels that there are a lot of pickpockets in Rome and uh, they're outside every place waiting to pick your pocket. I'm a little nervous. What can I do about that? Well, Doug, that's a great question. Um, pickpockets actually are everywhere. They're in every major touristy city. And that, so that would include New York City. If you went to New York City and went to Times Square, same problem would happen. It would happen in Barcelona as well. Any place that um, there's a major gathering of tourists, pickpockets frequent those areas. So Paris, London, New York City, Barcelona, uh, all of these cities would have a lot of pickpockets because there's a lot of people that are crowded around and uh, they're all tourists. So the first piece of advice I can give you is use common sense and be aware of your surroundings. And common sense means don't get easily distracted. Um, pickpockets will use a distraction method to try to uh, uh, rob you. Uh, so make sure all of your belongings are secure and hopefully in front of you. And just be aware of that and use common sense. Avoid crowds if possible. That's another suggestion I have. If it's possible for you to avoid crowds, do it. If you're on a bus tour, you really can't. Um, uh, but uh, if you can, avoid crowds. If you're, uh, unfortunately, if you're in a crowded place, make sure that uh, you have all of your pockets, if they have zippers on them, be zipped up. Your purses and your fanny packs are all zipped up. Um, and also make sure there's no bulky items like uh, big fat wallets or cell phones hanging out. Uh, those are the uh, most pickpocketed items, cell phones and bulky wallets. Those are the two most common things that are going to be pickpocketed, so make sure they're secure, and if you can, make sure they're in front of you. People in groups chat with each other, and uh, what they do is they lose track of their bearings, where they are being aware of their surroundings, because they're engaged in a conversation with someone next to them. And that's when you get pickpocketed. That's the, the most common time that you will. You're in a crowd, uh, you're not using your common sense, you're feeling a false sense of security, and um, you're chit-chatting with someone, and uh, you're not uh, aware of your surroundings. And that's when it happens. You shouldn't be afraid of pickpocketing as long as you just follow some basic, simple guidelines. Um, again, uh, keep your bulky items uh, zipped up and in front of you if possible. Uh, that is your cell phone and a bulky wallet. Those are the two most common things that, um, that pickpockets pick on. And um, that's one. And number two is make sure if you have any pockets, have them zipped up uh, or any purses, that's the same thing. And also any fanny packs that you have, make sure they're zipped up and in front of you. Also a final thing, something I do, uh, whenever I get into a, a, a crowded spot, uh, I take my knapsack and I put it in front of me instead of behind me. And uh, that's just a safety tip I, I use uh, whenever I'm, especially if I'm riding a, a subway or, or anything like that. Thank you for your questions. I hope I've answered all your questions. And to the rest of my viewers, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more of my travel videos and thank you for watching. Please subscribe, post a like, and hit the notification bell for future videos.